Let's see. Are we live? I think maybe. I can't tell. Let's see. Yes. All right. Uh, it looks like we've gone live now. Hey, everybody. Steve Main here. Um. Life is Strange Before the Storm Chapter 2 just came out this week, and I am super excited for this. Uh, this is this is what I'm doing for, well, until it's finished. Uh, as you can see, we've come to a really impressive part. Uh, something horrible has happened, and I'm, yeah, it was, we did this. This was totally our fault. <laughs> so we are going to jump forward. Um, I'm, I'm in for the long haul. I've got, I've got a couple glasses, or I guess a couple glasses of water. Well, I've got a glass and a pitcher of water here. Big box of tissues and some, uh, some Twizzlers on hand just in case. So we're going to jump in and, uh, start episode two and see how the story unfolds. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I have been for a while. I will say real fast, uh, last time I went and checked it out after I played was uh, the, the Chloe's Diary entries and I realized that it was I should read those. I'm going to read those out this episode. I did Not the ones from episode one but from from uh, the, all the ones that occur in episode two. I'm going to read those today because they, they were just amazing. And I, I didn't do that the first time, but um, this time around, I'm definitely going to read those out because they were. Oh, God, they're just Previously beautiful. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm going to teach this little punk some manners. Hey, Ugh. dickhead, get the fuck out of here. Frank, Rachel, Between all the best Between and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hal. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day... I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. <sighs> there is a theory that I have seen fiddling around the internet that Rachel has some sort of powers I'm going to be interested to see how accurate that is Miss Price how good of you to join us I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner, and then we're just sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process, and the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um... What? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh, don't screw up, say nothing. Is that rhetorical? Uh, let's do. Uh, don't get in trouble again? 
Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were <laughs> unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. If involved means not sticking out my neck for Blackwell's richest ass child. I didn't realize that was a crime. Your lack of awareness does not absolve you of anything, Miss Price. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Uh... Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. <laughs> and yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? <laughs> um, uh, I think Chloe's smart enough to take the... Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe... Is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Um, yeah. Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber? Based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you, or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Uh, oh, let's just enjoy this one. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. <laughs> After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price, I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber. I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. 
still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant, first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. Uh. What the performance is tonight? For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. <laughs> There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances. Accidental and deliberate. I'm sure you're understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, uh. I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. <laughs> that is such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Uh, uh, do I go along with Rachel or do I take the blame? What does Chloe do? He, You know what? We know she's getting thrown out of the school eventually because we've played the first game. So, the hell with it. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. You might listen to your punish. Let's do it. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Uh, yeah, accept reality. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? She just wants attention. You should confess. I confess she can act. Uh, let's do A. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. You don't tell me what to do. We're not friends. Uh... How about you don't take credit for my shit? You don't see me claiming I did my homework, do you? Because that's your stupid thing. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. The draggers. Uh... Fine. I shouldn't have pulled Rachel out of class. If I'd known she couldn't handle it, I would have gone it alone. Why speak up, Miss Price? Your words do not exonerate Rachel, but they do further implicate you. I'm the worst. Why not tell the truth? Why not leave with a bang? Uh... Why? To tell the truth, for once. Something that happens so rarely around here. Everybody lies. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting 
planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year, with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That well. is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Well, we knew that was coming. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. <laughs> I don't like Skip. Hey, uh, just wanted to say it sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're going to be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Okay, we got stuff to look at. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Uh -huh. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Lord, why does how does Chloe ever drive? <laughs> Lord, everything she loves gets killed. Love by how cars. every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. See, Chloe, I need to start seeing more effort from you, or you're going to fail my class. The quality of your work lately simply does not speak to the amount of potential I see in you. I know you're better than this. <laughs> Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Uh. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Uh, Maybe Kim was the class I hated the least. Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? <laughs> oh. I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> Imagery. Yeah, let's sign the wall. Oh, Chloe's left-handed. I should probably have noticed that. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go.
Actually, hang on. Let me look at. Oh. All right, this is what I wanted. Okay. Um. Let's see. We've got. I'll uh, check those out in a second. James and Rose. Those are... All right. Oh wow. All right. Let's see. Members of Blackwell community, please be advised that the fast-moving wildfire has recently been sighted in the vicinity of Culmination State Park. I have spoken with the Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, who do not believe any evacuations are necessary at this time, as the Blackwell campus is not within the affected area or the fire's current projected path. Please utilize caution while traveling to and from campus. Faculty and staff have been asked to waive punctuality requirements for all sports and extracurricular activities this weekend. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, fire weather update, Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Arcadia Bay or Oregon. Uh, not contained, use caution, check local media and road closures. Rachel. Made it into my house without seeing either of my parents. Sweet. You were born to be a spy, jumping out of trains and shit. Oh man, we'd make such a great team. No enemy viewfinder would ever be safe from you again. Ha. Meanwhile, you're deep undercover as a passed out person. Today was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Yeah. You know what doesn't suck? What? You. You also don't suck. <laughs> I know. We should probably sleep. Got wells tomorrow morning. Yeah, my fault. Worth it. Elliot. Okay. Holy shit, did you get Wells' text about fire? You okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just in my room. Hey, after Tempest, want to hang out? And we did not respond. Hey, I like that the flashing ones are the new ones, so I know that I don't have to read this one. Chloe, did you hear there's a fire? Please text me so I don't worry. Chloe, are you okay? Chloe, please. I'm fine. Well, thank goodness. Come home by curf curfew. We have that meeting early tomorrow. Again, Chloe? Really? 1251. Chloe, you can't keep doing this to me. I'm trying my best. Let's see. What else did we go uh, for? Episode 2. Clean lens. Hood with a view. Driver's seat. So clean lens is the first one. Let's see. Uh, or, uh, damn it. Uh, let's see. Do you ever play Truth and Lie? No. Let's get. Good lord, where are we at here? Okay, I think... Okay, so, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I got distracted. Nothing new there. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served love how every time someone tells me how much potential... Let's throw out the homework. I think I would keep something here. Finally, what I am.
Let's see. Are we live? I think maybe. I can't tell. Let's see. Yes. All right. Uh, it looks like we've gone live now. Hey, everybody. Steve Main here. Um, Life is Strange Before the Storm Chapter 2 just came out this week, and I am super excited for this. Let's see, are we live? I think maybe... I can't tell. Let's see. Yes, all right. Uh, it looks like we've gone live now. Hey everybody, Steve Main here. Um, Life is Strange Before the Storm Chapter 2 just came out this week and I am super excited for this. Uh, this is this is what I'm doing for well until it's finished. Uh, as you can see, we've come to a really impressive part. Uh, something horrible has happened, and I'm yeah. I was we did this. This was totally our fault. <laughs> so we are going to jump forward. Um, I'm I'm in for the long haul. I've got I've got a couple glasses. Or I guess couple glasses of water. Well, I've got a glass and a pitcher of water here. Big box of tissues and some uh, some Twizzlers on hand just in case. So we're going to jump in and uh, start episode two and see how the story unfolds. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I have been for a while. I will say real fast, uh, last time I went and checked it out after I played was uh, the, the Chloe's diary entries and I realized that it was I should read those I'm gonna read those out this episode I did not that have ones from episode one but from from uh, the, all the ones that occur in episode two I'm gonna read those today because they they were just amazing and I, I didn't do that the first time but um this time around, I'm definitely going to read those out because they were. Oh God, they're just Previously beautiful. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm going to teach this little punk some manners. Hey, Ugh. dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Uh, Frank, Rachel, Between all the best. Between and your disregard for my rules. I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Oh god, that jerk joke is so old. <laughs> Blackwell's criminal element strikes again. Better go before Wells pins it on me. Here's the stagehand snap. Max would have loved this shit. Well, uh, Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Oh, good. She can run. <laughs> but whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Fuck this place. No more extracurricular activities. No more curricular activities either. Jim Stark. Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten until today. Hey. Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! 
I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. <laughs> Do you want a hug? Let's not make a big deal out of this. Uh. Oh, sorry. Right, yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess, did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Ah, uh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Elliot, but I'm probably gonna hang out with Rachel, you know, post show celebration and whatever. Oh, cool, that makes sense. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me, her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. <laughs> yeah, later. Ooh, poor Elliot. Okay. I'm gonna check out this flyer here. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. <laughs> there is something in this parking lot for me to write on. Wells's car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Oh. I'm guessing I can't go back up the stairs. Gotta face my mom at some point. Might as well be now. There's a security camera I am not seeing. <laughs> Selma. Huh. So I know the license plates are a reference to something, I'm just not sure what. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Holden Caulfield, oh nice. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah. Bye. Elitist Blackwell bird. <laughs> Man, you must really hate a place to blame nature. <laughs> Uh-oh. At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. If I feel like it. Oh, Dave. Piss head much? That has to be Skip's car. That's what they do best here at Blackwell. Empty things out and toss them aside. I have avoided it as long as I can. Now, what's this? My other vehicle is drama. This is Rachel's car. <laughs> LD Byron. Oh, Lord Byron. No, okay, I'm sorry. That's Victoria's car. Tom Sawyer.
All right, I am not seeing the graffiti thing here. It's gotta be somewhere, right? Dang it. What's it called here? Well, blows. That meeting hella sucked. You're hella weird. You are. Seriously. It's okay. Yesterday was worth it. Okay, now we got... Another letter to Max. <laughs> that I'll never send. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. When did you decide you were done with me? I mean, how did you know it was time to move on? I asked because Rachel and I decided we're done with shit in this shit town. We've had it. It's Bye Bye Bay. But instead of ghosting it like someone I know, we're going to leave a trail of destruction in our wake. For Rachel, that means burning a fucking forest down. I know, crazy. But guess what? I'm pretty crazy too. I'm not un in, un in not unrelated news. I finally got my ass kicked out of Blackwell. But at least I managed to keep Rachel from getting booted from her play. I should probably be more upset about high, being a high school dropout. But I'm not. It's just another chapter of fuckery in the story of my life. So yeah, burning bridges literally and academically. That's how you make an exit, woman. Chloe the exit woman. <laughs> Chloe the exit wonder. Damn, that's gonna drive me nuts. Have I missed this and I'm over here now? I don't know. Let's see. Code with a view. Oh, actually. Let's see. If she were gonna do something, it would be on the hood of his car. Wells's car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. The only one I could see, other one I could see you doing something to is Victoria's. Right. Damn it. Oh, this is gonna I make me nuts. Probably get this over with and talk with mom. Yeah. Right, let's just walk up to the world. It's about damn time. David, please. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment. Which, of course, just makes this worse. Chloe. Your mother and I have been talking. I don't care. I know. That's what we need to talk about. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. <laughs> what? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me. Your mother. We need to get our own house in order. 
Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Yeah, that's... Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? I'll just say we had a rather frank discussion. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. <laughs> I'm not even going to Are you think. still going to date my mom? Of course. And will you still be coming to our house? I plan to. Then I say, go fuck yourself. That's what I thought. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe. I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe, and I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh let's go chloe quit stalling well, on the upside i know i don't actually have pot on me <laughs> sure here you go show me a warrant asshole you watch too much television. Your refusal to comply is as good as an admission. I admit to you being a fascist, and I don't take orders from fascists. What happened to trust being a two-way street? That was before you were expelled. Somewhere along the way, we lost our trust. This is not the way to get it back. Not at all. Okay. That's it? She's basically admitted her guilt, and you're letting her off the hook? I am not letting her off the hook. I am trying to find a way for us to move on. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Uh... You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like.
<sighs> hey! There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. That was rough, man. Oh. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Junkyard? Gotta be the junkyard, right? Yeah, drink here. There's that boat. Damn, it's been there a while. Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? And Bonnie. Uh. Hooray. It's a Ugh. truck. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Right, well, what? I'm just going to check out the text from mom. Chloe, David's trying to do what is what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. He's trying. It didn't help that you refused him to your pockets. Whatever. I'm not going to play along with his little power trip. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe. I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. You ever hated someone's guts, but then later felt bad because you found out they're actually cooler than you thought? Yeah, me neither. David got it inside his douchebag skull that he needs to start cracking down on me. Which meant demanding I empty my pockets for him in the Blackwell parking lot. I refused because fuck fascists, and if that's what mom needs to trust me, then that's her problem. I guess it backfired because now David's moving into my old house. I say old house because if he's there, I'm not, I'm sure as shit am not. <laughs> oh, I also bumped into Elliot. He's super into me still. Everyone wants a piece of price. Chloe, bane of fascists. Back to page one. All right. Let us... Magical battery goes here. Soon as I magically find one. Yeah, that's going to be the trick, isn't it? <laughs> so clearly that's what we are up to now. 
Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. School bus. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> uh. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Mm. Katie Bay sucks. So Chloe has been here. All right. This one won't work. No, that is a corroded piece of crap. <laughs> this mat has seen some things. Mostly feet. All right, so we are going to... I do love that she writes all of her objectives on her feet or on her hand. <laughs> I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. William Wallace. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride drug dealer. Really thought crime paid better. She has been detained and impounded in accordance with authorities. Initiates corrupt pursuant to the Narcotics Damage Act. <laughs> yep. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? Still got it. I think the police would have removed the boot, right? Like, that, is it just me? To hide under their hood. You're going to need to pop it from inside the cab, kid. <laughs> this thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? In official car speak, Ooh. this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. Nice. Well, I imagine just the battery is not going to fix the... Uh... Here we go. The pick of the litter. In theory, maybe. We're going to keep looking. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. You're a long way from the beach. Ooh. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? Well, you know, Max left, and then that was half their business. And... American Rust. <laughs> Sounds about right. Leave no trash box unopened. That's my motto. Yeah, why not?
Ooh, and a bobble-headed Elvis. No, not going over there. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Oh, I don't know what she's talking about. I, in fact, look forward to our robot overlords and believe that they will have nothing but good times and entertainment for all of us. Pretty sure this isn't what Rachel meant when she talked about going to L.A. to be a model. Then again, it's probably not what this person meant either. Yeah, more than likely. Although you never know. You're a long way from the country club, guy. See. Now this is a vortex club. I wouldn't mind joining. That's an eighty-one. You gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. Do you? Do you gotta? There's some interesting stuff back here. <laughs> this rug has some miles on it. Yeah. Don't want to leave yet. Okay. I have officially gone too far. <laughs> oh. Puddles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. First you take my mom, then you take my home. God, fuck you, David. Oh, hang on a second. Give me three seconds here. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Something was kind of stupid freaking antivirus notices. Hey, we want to update stuff. No, no, you don't. <laughs> You're not allowed I think to. I'm all smashed Stop out. Stop trying. <laughs> For now. All right, let's see. I'm going to roll back in here. I want to see if I can get into their clubhouse at all. Probably not, but... And up next, a local band called Pisshead is blowing minds and speakers throughout the bay. Here's their new single, Nothing Wrong. <laughs> Skip's band, nice. A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> right. Turn that off. 